I've been known to talk a lot about relationships, friendships, and everything around social intelligence, they call it, or the games we play as human beings. And I started thinking about the roles of people that they have in our lives in terms of the types of friends that we have. And so I want to reel off some ideas in terms of different types of friends that you may have in your life, possibly the, the pros and the cons to these different types of friends, and maybe just helping you understand what type of friend is best for you. So let's kick off with it. So the first one is conversational. Now this type of person is someone who loves to, you know, divulge in chats, deep conversations. They can talk about many different things and it feels like you can have conversations forever, okay? And this is a really great type of friend because it means that you feel connected to someone, you feel like you can relate to someone quite deeply. So these are some of the benefits. You feel like you've met someone, you've met your match, so to speak. Some of the cons of it is that sometimes it may be time consuming or sometimes the conversations don't add value to your life, so to speak. And so you need to just watch out to see if this is something value adding or value subtracting. Of course, if someone makes you feel a certain way, then that may be enough for you to understand if there's value associated with that person or not. So the first type is conversational. The second type is social. So this is someone who loves to go out, loves to do activities with you, always has different ideas and all these different things there. And again, benefits of that is that you can have a good time. You're never going to have a boring time with this individual. And it's just an opportunity to experience different things, especially if you've got someone who's willing to do it as well. The cons of this is that, again, it can be expensive. It can be time consuming. And sometimes the friendship could be based on very superficial means as well because it's focused purely on the social and you can't get deeper on that level to really understand that person. So there's that as well. The third type of person is what I call proactive, okay? So this type of person is the sort of person who helps you in different situations, okay? So I have a perfect example. Recently did a family event in our home and essentially we had some people who just switched on it's almost like the emergency light you know went on and they they helped us out in different ways you know they helped us clear rubbish cook food um set up different things etc etc so this type of person is someone who's always willing to help and obviously the positives of this is that you've always got someone who can help you out practically okay so you can always feel supported the downside it's more on you. You may feel like you're not doing enough. You may feel like you're not good enough to really, really sort of reciprocate some of the value that they provide for you as well. So not many people are like this, okay? Not many people willing to help others. Most people think about themselves and most people have, you know, um, I'm going to say self-satisfaction in mind, so to speak. So just look out for these types of friends because they're good to keep, especially if you need them when you're doing something that requires a lot of work. You've also got another type of friend. So the ambitious friend, the person who's the go-getter, the person who is going to make sure they move all mountains in order to, to achieve what it is that they're aiming to achieve. Now, the great thing about this person is that they may be inspirational, they may be motivational, but the cons of this is that they may not have enough time for you or they may not communicate with you as effectively Okay, because they're always so busy or doing loads of different things. I know I can be subject to this as well. And sometimes they can make you feel like you, you're not doing enough. And it's okay not to have the same ambitions as somebody else who's super or uber ambitious, but you may be filled to make or feel, you may be made to feel that way, so to speak, should we say. And they may not necessarily be doing this on purpose, but that's just how it is. That's just how you feel with this given situation. We also have the other type of friend. So dead weight, okay? Your friends just because you're friends. There's nothing else to it. It may be historical. It may be because you're part of the same social group. It may be convenience. You may not even feel bothered to say anything because one, they haven't done anything bad to you. Or two, it's just too much work to try and say anything and get them out of your life. Now, again, the positives of that may be the fact that actually, because they're not damaging you, and because there's nothing actually wrong, what's the point? You might as well keep the peace, okay? Things are peaceful, so to speak. The cons of that is that this person may be socially, mentally, 
emotionally draining you in some way, shape or form that you can't necessarily realize, okay? And if that's the case, they may not be good in your life. There's also, I want to call the mystery box friend or the, 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 I can't say what the right word is, but it's the type of person who they may be misunderstood or some people may be like, I don't understand why you're friends or it, it may not seem compatible, but there's an element of them that just draws you towards them. Okay. And this may be for various different reasons. This may be because they understand you on an intellectual level, an ambitious level, a social, emotional level, etc., etc. So it may be confusing to others, but it makes sense to you as well. So it'd be interesting to know what type of friend do you think you are? Are you the ambitious friend? Are you the social friend? Are you the friend who is more conversational by nature? Do you think there are any more categories that you'd like to discuss and talk about? Let me know in the comment box below so I can, yeah, just have a conversation with you and understand where your mind's at as well. Anyway, if you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And just to remind those people who are ambitious, high performing individuals, I have a free webinar and event that I did a couple of weeks back that is still, you know, able for you to check out. So click the link below and you can watch that event and just really get great value. It's seven key principles to helping you master your life or at least get close to mastery as possible. Anyway, like I said, if you like videos like this, don't forget to click the notification bell. And as always, my friends, understand, reach and expand. Peace.